Hello. Hi YouTube. My name is Lindsay. I am 26 and I had a baby like six months ago. So I did my registry like eight months ago. Putting together registries are hard. It's a lot of research going to it. So many different baby products out there that it's very consuming knowing which is the best one. So I wanted to do a eco-friendly, majority eco-friendly, so probably like 95% of everything on my list is eco-friendly. Baby registry that will hopefully help you in picking out everything you need on your registry. When I made my registry, I mean it took weeks looking up every single item, finding every item, reviews and everything. So I just wanted to do this for you. So like I said, this is a very eco-friendly. I have so much stuff. Let me show you my little list. Everything written down, so if my eyes wander, it's because I have like a bunch of notes and everything. I will have every single thing that I mention in my description box. And I'll also be putting pictures of the items in the corner so that you can visually see what I'm talking about. Because that's that helps. Like I said, this is stuff that I prefer, that I picked out. I have probably like... 80% of the items on here. A lot of it is speaking from what I use. And then other things that I saw that I liked and I wish I have and some things that I'm going to actually buy. <laughs> Feeding and soothing. We'll start off with that. They're called Mitaz Breast Milk Collection. So they're glass breast milk storage containers. And I really like these because I have the plastic ones and of course they're not reusable. Um, they're like $12 a box, a box, a box, a box of like maybe 50. It doesn't matter. They are disposable. I'm, I have to throw them away. And... I just don't really like the use of like plastic that much, I guess. You're like putting milk in a bag and then heating it up. I love the glass storage containers for the breast milk and they come with lids. I think there's six in each one. So I would put on your registry probably like two or three. Also, there are gonna be some baby sounds. He's in his little thing right here. So I hope you don't mind. I'll do my best to cut them out. Okay, we have a kid po feeder. Oh my gosh, this is something that I'm getting. It's Instead of like little mini baby jars to go in the freezer, it's a silicone tray that has nine little holes in the middle and you put your food in all of them. You pop them out each time you want it. So you only wash it once, that one thing once, instead of washing every single individual jar, it's one tray. You can put little popsicle rings in the middle for ice pop. They put stock in it to make chicken stock, beef stock, um, breast milk. I mean, anything, it's so easy. It looks so easy to clean and I'm definitely getting that myself. The easier, the better, you know what I mean? And it is 100% food grade silicone, no BPAs, BPS, PVC, lead, or pathylates, which is a plus, okay. It is also odor and stain resistant. Hypoallergenic, I said it's easy and convenient, which it definitely looks like it is. So yeah, you can make uh, baby parades, muffins, egg bites, and like I said, ice pops and teething pops. It's also dishwasher safe, so love that. Okay, I love and I have the Philips Advent Fast Warmer. It works very, very well. It keeps milk warm up to an hour and then it shuts off, which I like. The light indicates when the milk is ready, which is cool because I don't have to keep checking on it. And then there's a defrost setting for a frozen milk. Baby bottles, Komatomo baby bottles, that's, I use those. They are awesome, I have not, people say it's very tricky with getting baby bottles, babies are picky, they want certain bottles. We have not needed to try another bottle besides the Komatomo bottles. I love how they're like gel, it's like silicone, what does it say? It's 100% safe silicone, no BPA, PVC, and it's pathlate free. It has, oh my god, this stuff on it. It's um, dual anti-colic vent, which is great. Spill-proof lid, which honestly, the lid has probably spilled maybe twice, but that's really not bad because I've used those bottles in the beginning when I was pumping all the time, and two times, I'm not gonna complain. And it's designed to latch, so because it's for your registry, they have the bundles, they come with four. So I put those on my registry. I would get four newborn and four regular size. That's how many bottles they prefer you having. If you get any kind of bottles, you should have eight bottles. Then we have the Ula 100% silicone suction feeding bowl. So there's a lot of bowls out there. Of course, I like did my research on this. People love these bowls. It's for independent feeding, has a spill proof lid designed for transportation, which is cool. And it has, it's a three stage feeding bowl. So it starts off like, looks like a jar kind of way. And then it gets wider and wider, which I like that too. I'm all about getting items that are gonna last. There's nothing more than getting an item that you're only gonna use for like two months. So why not get something that can last way longer? That's what I really like about these. Of course, nothing is 100% where it's not gonna slip and it's not gonna have the snug fit, but the reviews were pretty good on it 
staying in place. So I would put about four of those in your registry because that's what I would do. And also with doing this registry, because I've already done my registry and I've already had them for six months, I'm pretty knowledgeable in what is needed and not needed, but I also have certain things on here that are like pluses, so you don't really need them. Is it cool or do you want them? Yes, but I'm just putting a whole range of items on here and literally it's what you decide to put on there and what you decide to use, so. Um, the Baby Breeza Sterilizer. I have that. I love it. It looks kind of small, but I fit everything on there. All the breast pumps, I can put bottles, I can put his teethers, every single thing fits in there. Great. It has a dryer if you just want to dry items. It's a 24-hour sterilization, so that's really cool. Automatic drying and shut-off functions, and it's BPA-free. We like BPA-free. This is the only kind of sterilizer I have used, but using it, I have absolutely no issues. What I love about it, too, is the way it looks. People come into my house and they're like, what is that? It looks like a rocket ship. And it does. Because I was also looking at, I think, a different one that looked like a very basic sterilizer, which is, we're not looking for, we're not doing things for the way they look. We're doing things for the way they perform. But this performs and looks nice. So that is a plus. Okay. Green Sprouts Stay Dry Bibs. He has those. They are awesome. They hold in a lot of liquid and they are natural mater natural materials as well as avoiding harmful harmful substances. And I like the colors. They're cute. Okay. I just bought one pack of those. Um, they come with like I think 8 or 10. So to me that's enough. If you are breastfeeding, you will want a breastfeeding cover so that you can take with you when you are breastfeeding. I've looked at a lot of them. This is the one I put on my registry and this is the one I'm so obviously I'm using it. I really like it and I also just found out too that it's um, multi-purpose so I can put it over his infant car seat. It is, it could be a diaper changing cover and it's baby approved material, skin friendly and milk cool fabric. It is super lightweight and it keeps your baby cool and comfortable because it does. I mean, I was in, we went to the zoo one day and I had to bring it with me and it was very, oh my God, it was so hot outside and that thing like did not keep him hot because I had to feed him. If I'm looking to put something over him and feed him for a minute, I want something that the material is not going to be too hot. The Nest Pillow. I did not use a pillow because in my head I'm like I have so many pillows in my house and we started laying down feeding actually when he was like a month so I never used pillows but if you are looking for a pillow and you want a pillow for your nursing it's called the Nest Pillow made with all organic materials, easy to clean. On the comments or the reviews, people said it is way better than a boppy, and it's definitely worth the cost. And it looks like it's very long, so it looks like a lot of space to do a lot with the baby. I would get that if I wanted other ways to feed him. And then you're gonna want some feeders, uh, some teethers. The more teethers, the better, okay? Um, they get very tired of using the same ones, and I put him in a, I have a playpen for him, and I put a lot of his teethers in there. He's always switching them out, so it's always good to have different kinds. I saw the Share and Care Baby Teeths. Um, it's a natural organic feeder. And then there's the Newbie Three Step Three step soothing teether, which is cool too, because again, it's multi-use. There's so many teethers out there. I would at least, whether you put it on your registry or not, have like 10 different teethers. Um, you're gonna be washing them all the time, you're gonna be going to them all the time, losing some. I also have the Love Every subscription box. They come with a lot of teethers, so those are two good ones. Okay, breast pump, if you are pumping. I use the Spectrum. I went through a whole list of all the different types of breast pumps, what's better. Of course, the Medela is an awesome breast pump. It is very expensive, but they said the most reasonable for what you need and the purpose for it is the spectrum so I just asked for that one to be on my registry it works amazing I love it they have the tubes in there that you don't even have to clean them it's your all-around great breast pump I love it I love it and I, I got the rechargeable electric one there's another one but I got the rechargeable electric which I just plug it in once it's fully charged it doesn't have to be hooked up and I can carry it with me wherever I'm going also you're gonna need burp cloths I would have about eight burp cloths I love muslin muslin material they're on Amazon I'll link it below. You need a lot of birth cloths. Pacifiers. They're the Bibs BPA free rubber pacifiers. A lot of times the pacifiers too, it's like bottles. They are picky with them, so you're gonna have to probably try a few, but going the organic way, I like the bib. Diapers. Okay, so I use Hello Bello. It's a subscription box of diapers, but we're doing more of like registry. So I think Pure Pampers is a really good one to have on your registry. I had a couple people buy me Pamper Pure Pure Pampers going with diapers. The Ubi Steel Odor Locking Diaper Pan, that's what I have. No special bags required. I literally use my Glad bags that I use for my house. It really locks the smell. I mean, I don't smell poop in his room. I don't smell the diapers. It holds up to 55 diapers, which I probably change the diaper thing like maybe two times a week. So it really 
really last. It's made of steel and has a child lock safety on it and a slow close lid. Okay, itsy ritzy diaper bag backpack. That is the backpack that you will want. I don't have one, but that is the one that I was looking to get. That's the one I really wanted. Instead, I was at Target and I saw this other one that I was like, all right, I'll just deal with it. But if it was my choice, I would get the Itsy Ritzy diaper bag. It has 17 pockets, two insulated pockets, vegan leather. It has a rubber bottom so that it stands upright. That's one thing with my diaper bag that I have that it kind of flops all over. I have a book bag one. Backpack. And this is also a backpack one. It just looks like it does a trick and it's very... All the colors on it is like coffee and cream. There's like cream and black and tan. There, it's just a beautiful bag. Okay, skincare and bath. There is a Puji Feet, I'm saying that probably so wrong. It's an infant bathtub. What I like about this bathtub is that it's easier for people who have a C-section. It's easy storage, which it is. You can literally just hang it on the wall. Soft and sturdy material, has a grippy texture, and a water overflow. So if you have a, if you're getting a C-section or you're gonna have a C-section, this is a great uh, bathtub for you. Okay, then we have the Munchkin. It's the Sit and Silk bathtub. This is zero to 12 months. I don't have that one. I have the whale one, which I don't really like about the whale one is that it has like the infant side where they lay on top of it and it's pretty wide. And right now he's at this awkward stage where like he's too big for the infant, but he doesn't sit up yet. And I wish it was a little bit skinnier. So that's why I really like this Munchkin Sit and Silk bathtub because it looks like it's slender. And I mean, and he's very, he moves a lot. So he throws his body back and I'd, I'd rather have the Munchkin one. With bath time, you're gonna want bath toys eventually. It's nothing needed, but um, I had like one or two bath toys in his registry. So there's the Munchkin float and play bubbles, which are cute. And then there's the newbie purple floating octopus i also have the boon baby bath toy which we haven't used yet but it's like a floating astronaut and like changes colors and stuff so that's like really exciting <laughs> for him <laughs> but i put a couple bath toys on there and then there's the green sprouts brush in the comb it's organic it's a great gift baby genix gift set so i have the baby genix soap but then it comes with like soap and bu bubble soap and other items that i think are a really good purchase for a baby registry the baby nail file electric nail trimmer oh my gosh that is literally a lifesaver i don't have to worry about clipping their nails and hurting them it has 10 grinding heads there's a little light in the front so i can see what i'm doing when it's like a little bit darker and it has eco-friendly material and it's soft on baby's cuticles and nail beds i mean i couldn't imagine not having that at first i didn't get it and then i'm like it just seems so convenient and easy and i got it and you can actually use it on adults too there's a head for older nails so i like that okay his lotion, I use a Piercy Baby Lotion. I honestly love it. There's a couple of reviews that people weren't too like fond of the smeller. It works for him. I think the smell smells like, he just smells like a baby. Everybody loves the smell when he's around. It's very moisturizing and it's organic moisturizer, 24 hour moisturizer, even after bath. And it's created by doctors and powered by plants. Okay, Baby Frida Kit. What I really love is a snot sucker. Um, it comes with nail clippers, but I mean, it's probably the one thing you wouldn't use. And then when newborns, are, when babies are born, they have like this weird like film on their head. And there's actually a little rubber massager that helps get that out. And then it has, um, gas plugs so it helps when babies have gas so i just think it's a cute it's a nice kit to have and give as a gift but yeah the derma is like a baby uh, skin soother with bath time you're going to need towels and washcloth i was looking for a very dirty or durable towel that will last a long time and made with great material so i like and i love my lily seed bamboo hooded towel bamboo actually is two times more absorbent than cotton and the second i put him in the towel i mean i swear he's dry like i just literally like wrap him and he's he's good they are the softest towels and they last till they're toddlers which i like i only have two right now i'm probably gonna get one more i've washed them maybe like 50 times and it's like they're still brand new and then they have the ba bamboo baby washcloth i would get about three packs there's six in each i think but you can never really have too many washcloths i think i have like 24 washcloths and i'm down to like 10 right now because i don't know what happened to them the more washcloths the better and the bamboo baby washcloths are also eco-friendly and they're double layered premium hypoallergenic i would also get a skip and hop faucet so right now he's not old enough to be outside of a baby bathtub but once he is able to be in the normal bathtub i would i need to get a, a faucet for him essentials i've talked about this many times the outlet smart sock you have to get it it is the biggest ease at night i wrap it around his foot it checks his heart rate and his lungs it gives you an alert and i love that it also has his like sleeping schedule so it tells me when i wake up what 
how he slept through the night, what time he woke up, if he was in a deep sleep, and I mean, oh my god, even if I have to like run to my, I'm a single mom, so even if I have to run to my car really quickly, I put the outlet on him, and I go down the stairs to my car, I mean, it's just the biggest, the biggest ease. Honestly, like, you, you have to have one of those. They are good up to 18 months, and I have in one of my videos, uh, I go in depth more of the outlet. It's amazing. Snuggle me. So I have a dog -a His pediatrician did not like it. They do not, she does not like dog -a so I kind of stopped using it also remember when you have any of these type of like sleeping things they're not meant to be put in a crib they're not meant to whatever i'm not here to like talk about what and what not to do but this is the snuggle me to sensory lounger and it's for infants zero to nine months and it has a unique center sling that curves around the baby's back and pulls while the sides pull in giving the baby like a hugging effect it's gots certified organic fabrics reviewers mentioned that it's easier to clean than a doc -a -tot. but yeah if you're around the baby and you're lounging i think that's really great to have bijorn bounce balance it is naturally helps develop balance and motor skills proper head and back support newborn to two years and it's four position so I don't have that one but I would get that one it looks like a great bouncer okay another thing that is important is a travel crib so if you're I know we're dealing with COVID right now but if you're going to your grandparents house your mom's house or if you anywhere that you're gonna be with him you should get a travel crib because that's the one thing I'm struggling with right now that I don't have is a that I need to get is a travel crib. Um, so the Lotus travel crib with a mattress, it is travel friendly, safe for infants, uh, fast set and packed, and it's green guard gold. So just one of those. Okay, I do not have a changing table station or whatever. I live in a small one bedroom apartment. I change the baby on the bed. So. There's a baby changing basket that you can put on top of your changing table, or if you don't have one, you just put that on your bed. Um, so it comes with a foam pad, and it's made with sustainable seagrass. It's hand woven in Vietnam by locals, so there's never any of the same basket. It comes with a pad and liner, and it's newborn to 12 months. You're gonna need a carrier. Um, I have the Ergo Baby Step Up. It's Ergo Baby Ami 360 carrier, and it's all carry positions, newborn ready, easy switch from inward to forward facing, a play gym. So I use Love Every subscription box, and I love their play gym. I did not know about their play gym until after I already had one, and this play gym is like the master of all play gyms. I think it is super cool. It is stage-based brain development, safe and sustainable, and has removable organic accessories. Okay, Skip and Hawk Baby Activity Center. That's what we have right now. That's what he's in right now, actually. He loves it. Um, it's 360 seat rotating, has a discovery window so they can see their feet, and it's good for like motor skills. He has his playpen, which has like all of his favorite toys. He's good in there for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, then he freaks out. Or not freaks out, but he cries. I put him in his little Skip and Hawk Baby thing. I mean, he's good for like an hour. Boone a Baby Drying Rack. You've seen it everywhere, everybody has it. It's the grass type of rack it is super cute looking um it definitely holds all my little parts especially when i was pumping and then what i realized so i had gotten the dr brown bottle brush set but it's only one like i don't know it's like one side so they also boone has their cacti cleaning brush set that has four different types of brushes little small ones that go on the nipples ones that go around the. i mean it's you need that one way better than a regular brush set what i have is a dapple baby bottle soap it's plant-based it's a great soap for their stuff so get some baby soap baby toys you can never go wrong with getting baby toys i have a whole video of great learning baby toys that stimulate their mind from zero to 12 months so check out my video for baby toys and then there's this taytronics cool mist humidifier it's for babies it's bpa free and it's quiet and auto shut off blankets you're gonna need a lot of swaddling blankets especially in the beginning again i love muslin baby blankets they have them everywhere i got my last set from amazon which i think were way bigger than the ones that i got from target i have about 10 of those i swaddle on them he when i go in his car seat that's what he uses i mean i use them those baby blankets were a lot so i would have at least 10. okay car seats and strollers i have a nuna car seat and stroller i love it well i mean it's just a really well put together durable car seat and the stroller is awesome what i love about the car seat and the stroller is that you just click it on top of the stroller and you go for a ride the setup for the car seat is also really easy it's a little one click in one click out they also have a light version it's not as heavy this is what I prefer, Nuna. I did a lot of research for strollers and car seats, and I chose the Nuna brand. But that's something that you're gonna have to also do some extra research yourself with strollers and what you want. You know, that's a little bit more trickier, but like I said, I prefer Nuna, they're awesome. Okay, and then for Mama, I have the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. It really healed my nipples, especially because I was pumping so much. And then you're gonna need a nursing bra. It's called Ho Fish Nursing Bra, that's what I use. I use them 
all day every day it's very easy to just pull my shirt up pull the tab down and nurse if you're gonna be pumping you're gonna need a hands-free pumping bra I didn't have one in the beginning and my hands were sore and tired and you can't do anything without having a hands-free pumping bra sleeping so I start off with the bassinet and I got the Rombi baby bassinet zero to six months I really liked it because I put it right next to my bed I got the level of your bed so you can just put your hand right through it I have a smaller space so it's it was great in the beginning and then now he just got the storecraft four-in-one crib it has a little shelf on the side which is good for like putting my stuff on there make sure that with all of your cribs and bassinets you get a mattress and a mattress pad that's like changeable and washable okay then clothes that's kind of difficult I didn't necessarily put on my registry that I wanted any clothes because I like to pick everything up myself but for registry or for preparing for baby I would have about like 10 long sleeve onesies 10 short sleeve onesies I would have about like two or three cute outfits if you go anywhere I don't think there's a video I have where he does not um, put himself in the video say hi mr. man <sighs> anyways socks usually come in um, multiple packs so five to six pairs of socks and then you're gonna want some baby hats so I'd have at least two to three baby hats and so I had regular you know like the muslin swaddles which are awesome the muslin blankets definitely get some velcro swaddles it is the easiest two-step process you literally put the baby in you zip them up and you fold one side over pull the other side over and they're perfectly snug oh my god that was such a lifesaver so you need to get they're called swaddle me swaddles and i love them and then also with baby clothes you're gonna want some baby detergent it's called drift baby laundry detergent i hope this registry somewhat helps out I hope it gives you a lead of what to get on your registry an idea like i said i have everything linked in the bottom below registries are fun you know make it a fun process but that's why i created this video so it wasn't too much work you had to put into it figuring out what's best for you like i said i have like 80 percent of all these products i love i use them all the time i wouldn't be doing this review if i didn't actually like what i'm using i love the whole eco-friendly thing better products better for the baby like i said hope this helps good luck baby hunting and thanks for watching i hope you like and subscribe to my channel we'll see you in the next video